and welcome. My name is Hank Preston. I'm a developer evangelist with Cisco DevNet. And today I'd like to talk to you about the benefits of configuration management. Now, before we dive into that, you may be asking yourself, what exactly is configuration management? Well, that's a great question. And I went looking for a good definition and I didn't find one that was exactly what I was after. So I came up with my own. And that is configuration management is a mechanism for maintaining the characteristics of a system. What does that mean, you may be asking? Well, let's dive into the key elements of that definition. So, mechanism. The mechanism is all about the automation. With configuration management, we're trying to move away from hand-to-hand -hand combat of one network engineer and one device that we're connecting with a console cable and just issuing commands. We wanna use the configuration management tools that are available so that we can take consistency and scale so we can achieve success in our NetDevOps projects. Now, what are we trying to configure? Well, those are the characteristics. And the characteristics is our intention, our desired state of our network. Now, the characteristics may include the software and version installed on our platforms and system attributes like the name, location, ownership information, as well as all of the feature configuration details. If you wanna run which routing protocol, that would be part of your characteristics. How that routing protocol will be configured, that would be a part of the desired state. Interface configurations, exactly how you're going to label descriptions, exactly what settings are gonna be standard across your configuration, all of those are the characteristics of the desired state. And so now we understand the definition of a configuration management. It's the mechanism for maintaining the characteristics of the system. So now, what about the benefits? What's in it for us as we start to adopt configuration management solutions? Well, first, we want to have the ability to quickly provision our infrastructure. If we think about how we provision our infrastructure today, it's a sequential and manual approach where we may have ourselves as, as well as a small team of network engineers with our list of changes that need to be applied. And we tackle those and change control windows one device at a time. We log into a device, we issue our commands, we save it, we move on. Now, that is not exactly the most appropriate, efficient, or way that we can do at scale network configurations. It's also error prone. Our uh, solutions with configuration management is to move to a parallel and automated approach. We use the automation tools, we use the open source platforms, we use commercial platforms to define what our characteristics, what our desired state is, and then we let the tooling push those out in this parallel and automated fashion so we can do things at scale with consistency. Now, secondly, we need to get away from snowflakes in our infrastructure. Now, the snowflakes refer to the system variation, where depending on who did the configuration, uh, what their beliefs were about how a standard should be interpreted, when that configuration was done, how thoroughly they abided by the runbook, well, we end up with system variation across our entire platform, and that isn't good. With network configuration management solutions, we can move away from snowflakes to system consistency may not be as interesting to look at because it's all very similar, but that's great from a uh, reliability perspective across our network. And configuration management solutions can give us this ability to go forward. And this brings us to our last benefit, version controlled infrastructure. Today's infrastructure is what I like to call organically configured. The exact configuration that we expect to be configured in our network, the only place we know that is by looking at the actual network. Because if we take one particular site that was configured two years ago, well, it was configured based on whatever the standards were at that time by the engineers that configured it at that time. And it may not have been touched at all in the last two years as our evolution, as our configuration standards changed. So sites that were deployed two years ago are different from sites that were deployed 18 months ago, 12 months, six months. This is that organic configuration where we don't have a good understanding of what our configuration in the network is supposed to be because it's all just evolved over time based on what our standards were at that particular point. We don't want organic configuration. We need to move to version controlled infrastructure. Infrastructure is code or network is code where our configuration across the network is stored inside of source control in a system that's tracked by commits and changes that are tracked through branches. And when we deploy our infrastructure configuration, our network configuration using the configuration management tools, it's deployed network-wide, system-wide, based on a particular checkpoint that aligns to what our network configuration is supposed to be based on that source of truth in the infrastructure's code system. 
Thank you so much for joining me today on this video and this journey into the benefits of configuration management. I'll see you next time on the next video.